This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Hello, I'm Justin Pazera with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. A number of Valley cities announcing their own mask mandates, some taking effect today. Masks will now be required inside city, city facilities in Phoenix. That includes libraries and community centers. Mandates in Tempe, Peoria and Flagstaff also now in effect. Across the country, we've seen six weeks of increased COVID-19 cases. For the first time since February, there were more than 100,000 cases reported in a single day over the weekend. The more contagious Delta variant fueling this new wave. Things are going to get worse. We have 100 million people in this country who are eligible to be vaccinated who are not getting vaccinated. Dr. Fauci adding that he does not anticipate any more lockdowns. Starting this week, evictions are resuming after being paused due to the pandemic. The federal eviction moratorium ending Sunday. Landlords can resubmit or continue eviction processes. According to research from ASU, 20% or 80,000 households in the Valley will be at risk for eviction. We have people who's they started the eviction process and maybe their judge their justice court judge put the whole hearing on hold. So there's also a group though that already have a judgment against them and that the CDC order just continued the landlord from locking them out. Congress could not reach an agreement in time to pass legislation extending the ban. Some lawmakers want President Biden to take action and extend it through October the 18th. Well, taking action to help Arizona students succeed, if you have used if you have a used computer, tablet, or maybe a smartphone you no longer need, you can donate it to the Back to School Technology Drive, sponsored by Intel and AZStrut.org. Now through August the 15th, you can give your used tech a new life, donate it to any batteries plus bulbs location. All devices will be scrubbed, then donated to support students in need. For more information, you can head to abc15.com slash school. Chandler Center for the Arts continuing its virtual theater program, which brings performances right into classrooms. This year's show is called Beyond the Walls. The three episodes include an artist introduction and a post-show Q&A, where the performers discuss questions often asked by audience members. Homeschool groups and families can also sign up to access that performance. It does cost $10. Back to school spending has never been higher. In 2020, the average American household spent nearly $800, but there are ways to make things this time of year maybe a little easier on your wallet. And that's what's on our bulletin board for you. First, before you head to the store, you can shop around your own house, see what you already have laying around the house. Certain items like backpacks and lunch boxes may not have to be replaced every year. And then next, don't be afraid to shop around because one store might have a deal on binders and then paper at another store may have crayons and markers at super low prices. And then finally, don't go overboard, only buy what you need. You can try to get a list from your kids' teachers or schools, so that way you're not buying the whole store and make back to school a little bit more cheaper for everyone. So Simone Biles will compete in the individual balance beam event tomorrow. This will be her first competition since withdrawing from the team all around finals last week. The 24 year old saying her mind and body were not in sync. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. We are starting to wind down those storm chances today. Some spotty storms will be possible in northern Arizona, and we could see some storms over that higher terrain just east of the valley with a 10% chance for a stray shower or thunderstorm in the far east valley cities. The rest of the valley, though, looking dry. Western Arizona looking dry, too, as we drop those storm chances. In fact, dropping them out of the forecast completely by tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday before they start to go back up again by the end of the week. And as we clear out storm chances. Temperatures are going to start going up today. A high of 108 in Phoenix, but we'll hit 115 out at Lake Havasu. 80s in Heber, 84 in Cholo, 92 today in Payson. We're also dealing with air quality alerts as we see mostly sunny skies and ozone high pollution advisory in effect for today. Then tomorrow we're up to 110 with a high of 111 by Wednesday, but it looks like that's as high as we'll go. Temperatures start trending down as we approach the weekend. And get another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading the free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.